Hey everyone, thank you for tuning in. Today I'm putting together a flower girl wand. I thought this was a neat little twist to the traditional flower girl basket. Why not give the flower girl a wand? And then they can go prancing down the aisle, waving the wand, put lots of ribbon tails on it so you get that movement. It'll be awesome in pictures and fun to watch. So I have a two and a half inch dense styrofoam ball and I also have a wooden dowel. And I just hot glued the wooden dowel into the styrofoam ball. Um, and you wanna make sure that attachment is really sturdy. So I added some extra hot glue around the insertion point just to make sure the ball does not fall off the stick because that would be embarrassing. So I'm wrapping up my dowel rod with a double face satin ribbon. I believe this is a number nine ribbon. Just add some hot glue at the bottom, kind of give it a little twist and turn to cover up that base and then just wind it on all the way up to the, the ball there. And then you're gonna wanna hot glue the ribbon to the ball, the styrofoam ball. This hot glue was extremely hot and side note, I burnt the crap out of my hands doing this, but uh, because it was extremely hot, it was already squishy and that's why you don't see me hot glue it at the top. But I also took a corsage pin and pushed it in there just to give it that extra security. Because uh, again, you, you've got a, a young flower girl probably swinging this around. You don't want it to fall apart. Um, and now I'm going to hot glue the flowers into the two and a half inch dense styrofoam ball. Why such a small ball at the top? Because it looks silly, it looks like a little microphone. Uh, once I get the flowers in there, the size of that ball is gonna double. So if you go to the store and you buy a uh, styrofoam ball in the size that you want it to be, it will end up being way bigger once you put the flowers in. So just think half the size of what you would like the, the ball to be at the top of the wand. Um, also, it kind of um, eliminates the large surface area that you have to cover. Uh, you could get one of the screen, the green styrofoam balls uh, so you don't have to worry about um, covering it so much or you could put some either green moss or Spanish moss to cover it so you don't see the mechanics. But uh, using smaller flowers like the hydrangeas there, it covers pretty good and doesn't take a whole lot um, to cover that surface, surface too. So I do, like I said, have the hydrangeas. I am adding some roses. I, I'm being careful with my roses as the focal point uh, to space them out accurately. You're going to see the uh, wand from all sides. And if it's off a little bit, it's really going to show. So you kind of want to be careful on spacing there. If you went with a mo monochromatic color scheme, you would, really wouldn't have to worry about it. Uh, you'd just be concerned with textures. But since I'm dealing with these peachy orange colors and the creams, um, and then I got some lime green hydrangea in there. I have to be cautious of where the focal flowers are. And let me just point out this, this color scheme I love. This aqua with the peach colors, the pinks, and the lime greens. Um, I just think it's a great color combination. Um, very spring-like. If you have a spring wedding, I would consider doing this color combination. Um, it's just a very fresh look. And why does it work so well together? Well, because the aqua is in the blue field, and then of course the peaches are in the orange field, and orange and blue are complementary colors. So if you're ever at a loss with what colors to do for your wedding, just refer to that, that uh, color wheel. It will help you out tremendously. Uh, now I wanna add my ribbon and the tail so it's got that nice flow. I'm using three different sizes of ribbons and three different styles of ribbons. So you really get that good show in there. Uh, just tying it off with, I did a 18-inch uh, gauge wire, which I'll put a link, link to the wire um, in the descriptions. But uh, making sure to hot glue that in there really well. I did two groupings, so we have lots of tails. And voila, you've got a flower girl wand. <laughs> Thank you so much for tuning in.